Hey ladies, and to all of you guys who are confident and cool enough to learn from a girl, welcome. I shot this video with ladies in mind because every video I found on YouTube was men showing how to mount a TV to the wall and all of the focus was on the hardware and the mounting aspect. But I wanna make sure I throw in a little bit of the design aspect. As a DIYer and a designer, it's important that we mix form and function when we mount a television so that we get the right look in the room. So I wanna discuss with you not just how to attach it to the wall safely and securely, but also talk about how high or how low do you go when you mount that TV on the wall. And make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell because there are more videos coming every week from Hip Chicks. And I don't want you to miss them or the 600 other videos that are in our library. So the first thing that you're going to do when you're ready to mount a TV bracket is to open it up and read the directions. That's important. You wanna make sure that you have all of the tools that you need and that your TV mount is appropriate for your television. You'll need to grab the following tools a drill bit set, a drill, painter's tape, a tape measure, a pencil, a socket set, and you may need a piece of plywood or MDF, and I'll explain why you might need that for your TV mount. And last but not least when it comes to tools is the stud finder. This is one of the most important parts of mounting a TV. When you are hanging anything of great weight or value, like cabinets, shelving, and televisions, you really need a stud finder to make sure that you have found a stud. You should never hang these things on drywall, so they should be mounted on a stud or on brick face or stone. You also wanna take a look at all of the parts that come with your mounting device. I am not gonna be using all of these parts. I will not be using the plastic anchors because those are for mounting on brick face or stone. So how high or low do you hang your television? According to the Society of Motion Pictures and Television, a 42-inch television should be mounted about 56 inches from the floor to the center of the TV. A 55-inch TV should be around 61 inches. A 65-inch TV should be 65 inches from the floor. And a 70-inch television should be mounted with the center of the TV at about 67 inches. Now for this application, I'm kind of disregarding those rules a little bit because this TV is being mounted above my son's desktop computer because it will be doing video editing in an editing studio. But for home entertainment, follow those other guidelines. Use a stud finder to locate the studs on the wall. Here I have located three of the studs behind this area. But keep in mind, it's really important when you locate a stud that you need to locate the left and right side of the stud because you wanna be sure that you are putting the mounting hardware right through the middle of the stud and not catching the edge. So you wanna be sure that you mark it. I use the painter's tape because painter's tape is one and a half inches wide and so is a common stud. Remember, there should be 16 inches from the center of one stud to the center of the next. Now decide where do you want to mount the bracket on the wall so that it aligns with where you want the television to be viewed. Read your manual to help you determine how to arrive at the right height for placement of your bracket based on how high your television should sit on the wall. Hold your mounting bracket to the wall and make sure it is level. I love using my phone with the Bubble app for that. And draw circles where you will pre-drill holes for your mounting hardware. Pre-drill your holes. Be sure that the drill bit you use is slightly smaller than the bolt going into the stud. And before you drill, make yourself a little paper dust tray to collect any of your drywall dirt. Now there might be an occasion where the mounting bracket that you have purchased does not have a wide enough span to go from 16 inches across. Now that can be a problem because that's where you need it to mount. You need to grab a hold of studs on each end. So what you can do is get a piece of plywood, or in this case, it's just a piece of MDF, and make a bridge. 
So if your bracket does not reach across and line up where you need it on the wall, you can get your plywood and you attach this to your studs. And then you can move your bracket anywhere you want so that it lines up exactly where you need it. I do recommend using plywood rather than MDF, but this was just a sample I had around the house. This is a way that you can bridge if you wanna mount TVs or even um, safes, household safes and things like that. Now you would paint this board so that it camouflages and you don't even see it on the wall behind the TV. When you're done mounting the TV and you have all of your cords from your electronic connections dangling, it looks really messy and not very professional. So get a cord channel cover. This device will attach to the wall. You can tuck all of your cords into it. It even comes with L pieces so that you can turn your wires and direct them down the wall and behind furniture so you have a neat, seamless look. And they are paintable too. Don't forget that in the description, I have a bonus for you. Click on the link for five tips to save $500 or more on home repairs, and I will send you a PDF of some of my top hacks that will truly save you from calling a repairman and save you cash. So ladies and guys, I hope that this tutorial helped you learn how to mount your own television. Every television mount will be slightly different. That's why you do need to read the directions, but the basic premise is the same. You must find a stud. You have to make a bridge if you can't find the stud in the location that you need for your particular bracket. But ideally, make sure you have a buddy on hand to help you lift that TV into place and hide those cords when you're done. And of course, the overall placement is key. Now my son is ready to do his editing right here in his room and he's got 4K quality for high quality production.